and welcome to today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage. Hey today we have the holy grail of Dodge trucks. The 2007 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty. Why do I say it's the holy grail of Dodge trucks? In 2007 they came out with a 6.7 liter diesel engine, Cummins engine, that has a 350 horsepower and 610 foot pounds of torque. This truck is a four wheel drive, the crew cab, but it's also the mega cab. So we've got a lot bigger cab back here. And again, the truck is a four wheel drive, but what this truck has that most trucks do not have is the NV5600 transmission, a manual transmission. Very rare in these trucks and very, very nice to drive. A lot of guys like the manual transmission. This truck had uh, over 15,000 pounds of uh, towing capacity. Very desirable for a lot of farmers and, and uh, folks that were pulling heavy loads. This particular truck here, we picked up the other day at the auto auction in Medford, Oregon. The person that owned this truck traded in on a newer vehicle. We were able to pick it up at auction for a very good price. Now, you wonder why some of these guys trade these vehicles in and what their reasons for. Well, this truck had uh, several codes uh, in the system and he traded it in Medford, Oregon, but we believe that he was a registered owner in Northern California. Well, the diesel particulate trap filter is probably plugged in this or at the very least needs clean. And that's a very expensive repair. Now, a lot of guys delete this truck. They put a tuner in them, they, they delete the EGR valve and the uh, diesel particulate trap filter, DPF. We're gonna take a look at this and see what needs to be done to it. Uh, but uh, overall, pretty cool truck. You'll see that it's not in perfect condition, but the price that we paid for it is very good and compensates us, let's say, for those issues and whatnot. This truck will need a strong detail here, uh, which we will be doing. And uh, it does need a few things. You see in the inside here, it does have a power seat has the Xfinity radio, but it does need the seat repair. So I was able to purchase a new seat cover, the factory style, and a new cushion off of, I believe it was eBay for $83, including shipping. So that was a very, very good price there. So that'll make a lot of difference on the interior. And then the rest of it is just a lot of cleaning. Like power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, Again, power seat, has a brake controller. Uh, the truck does have 279,846 miles on it. That's, that's a lot of miles, but uh, I know a lot of these trucks with a lot more miles than that. One of the really neat things that I like about the truck is it has exhaust brake right here. Uh, and it works, it works pretty well. I drove it home from Medford a couple hundred miles the other night there. Worked really well. Now you see this knob down here is not factory and it has six positions there. And that is, uh, I believe it's six, maybe five. Uh, anyways, that is a power controller of some sort. So somebody has installed a uh, power controller and up underneath the dash, we haven't had a chance to look at that. So, but it does still have all the stock EGR valve and, and the uh, diesel particulate trap filter underneath of it there. So, and uh, a trailer brake, this vintage of truck did not have them built in. And we'll take a look in here. In the rear, you'll see that it has a ton of room with that mega cab. I'm not sure how these seats fold down. If these seats fold down. Those, those seats there fold down. And I believe they go forward even. Yeah, there we go to make a, a fairly, if I pull that button there and it pulls that down, it makes it a fairly flat floor. And the same thing over there. So you could uh, put your little mattress back here, maybe a piece of plywood and make a bed in it. Uh, I think some of your hot shot truckers do just that. And uh, the 6.7 liter engine here, like I said, I drove out a couple hundred miles home the other night. Uh, didn't skip a beat. Everything worked just perfectly like it should. Uh, check engine light was on, but it didn't create any issues or problems there. 
Now we bought this truck very, very reasonable. And uh, one of the reasons that uh, we bought it uh, so reasonable was it early in the sale. It was, uh, I don't know, maybe the sixth or seventh car to be sold, but <clears throat> the batteries were dead. And this truck with that big 6.7 liter engine in it, it takes at least two jump batteries to get these things started. And they didn't have that at the auction. And uh, so we had to buy it not knowing the condition of the engine because uh, it wouldn't start. And lucky for us, uh, we got, uh, after the sale, we brought in a couple of batteries and jump started and the truck fired right up and has been working very well ever since then. So it was a, took a little chance there, but it was a great, great deal in the long run there. And then the bed here, you see the bed is fairly straight. It does have a bed liner. B&W gooseneck hitch with the uh, safety hooks there. Uh, makes that very handy for pulling a hay trailer or whatever you got there. Uh, the rear window is a power sliding rear window in the truck and underneath the truck it has the 11 and a half inch ring gear in the differential there very heavy duty um, and again the uh, MV5600 six-speed manual transmission and the tow hitch here for regular stinger and that seven-way RV plug there also on the truck But overall straight truck it is missing one hubcap there but those are small things that we'll take care of when we're detailing it all right we'll jump in here and start the truck and then uh, we'll be taking it for a little test drive got power seat i gotta have rough low waves for the manual trans and we'll fire it up take her for a little drive here. Here we go. Take a take for a little drive here, but better put that seat belt on. That noise is gonna drive us all crazy. Alright. MV5600 trans here, six speed manuals, and uh, with six gears have a nice split in between each gear on the truck to where you're pulling a heavy load, works very nice. Normal driving I would start out in second gear. Windy road here I live on. If you can uh, hear the exhaust brake when I let off up here. Takes a second kick in. Oh, okay, turn it on. And there she's on. This engine really likes to run about 1700 to 2100, 2200 RPM uh, very well. Uh, about 65, 70 miles an hour. It's running right at 2200, I believe it is, uh, which not bad on mileage. I'd, li I'd like to see a little lower, around 1800 or so, but it's, uh, it's run about 17 miles per gallon, which is not bad, but if it was. Uh, deleted and uh, without the EGR and EGR cooler and those things I think it would do a little better however we're not going to do that we'll we'll let the next owner if he decides to do that but dual drive four wheel drive four wheel drive low here and those all work good in this truck 
the only thing that I'm seeing that is not working is the uh, temperature gauge in it. And I believe it does need a thermostat. It runs kind of cool, uh, very cool. In fact, uh, the heater takes a while to warm up and then it's, uh, then it's still relatively cool there. And there is a code in the for uh, like an inefficient uh, thermostat, so that will be changed. And we got our still have our exhaust brake on. slows us right down. And I'll go ahead and turn around right here. Go back into this driveway here. We'll go all the way over and back into reverse. start off in second gear here. Third gear. Nice and smooth. Nice and quiet. No wheel bearing noises. No real rattles. Uh, do get a little bit of wind noise out of this window over here to the left on uh, which, which is just a Somebody's probably locked the keys in at one point and uh, Slim Jim and used the balloon or whatever on the door and, and uh, bent it a little bit, I want to say. And it leaks just a little bit of air at highway speed, so that's an easy adjustment for me. And lugging her down there a little bit, they're under a thousand RPM. shifted into sixth here. Neat truck. I like it. Pretty basic, you know. Uh, the six sevens are known to be pretty reliable. I mean, they do have their their issues. I think my buddy's truck's got over 500, I don't know, 20,000 miles or something like that on it. And uh, the truck just runs fantastic trailer with it and whatnot. And guys, if you would uh, hit that uh, like, share, and subscribe button, that really help us out. Uh, helps our YouTube algorithm there. Uh, make any comments you have about the truck and. Uh, Got any questions? We'd be more than happy to answer them. I think I said earlier it's a the 6.7 liter engine has 350 horsepower and 610 foot pounds of torque with a towing capacity of a little over 15,000 pounds. There now that doesn't compare to the new trucks. The new trucks are uh, much higher horsepower and torque. Uh, however, I don't believe the manual trans is an option anymore. And they towing capacity is much greater but you know you're uh, oh man four times as much money as this truck so we're real happy with this one and and for what it the price of it uh and make a really a fantastic truck and very comfortable to drive I could use to clean the windows. <laughs> Dirty windshield.
All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video, and we'll catch you next time at Rust Deck Garage.